Here at Fresno State is where most students have their first opportunity to encounter theater. But what about after they graduate? No matter what degree or certification they're getting, it's the relationships built along the way that will mutually benefit and stick with these students for life. And it's a good thing that making friends is so easy for the girls because the practices sure are not. While there's still plenty of place to be seen here on campus, the Selma Art Center invites anyone and everyone to see what they bring to the stage. For Fresno State Focus, I'm Marco Rosas. Fresno State Media Communications and Journalism professors Jesse Scaccia and Jim Bourne work together to help host a workshop at the Woodward Park Library on Tuesday, March 28th. The workshop featured several slides with detailed facts from studies about the implication of prolonged social media use. According to Scaccia, who serves as the keynote speaker, prolonged social media use and social media addiction can result in shortened attention spans, irritability, and in some cases, depression. The workshop was also interactive and gave attendants a chance to share their experience with social media and fill out pre and post workshop surveys. You can follow the Institute for Media and Public Trust on social media to stay informed on any future workshops. Now let's take a look at your weekly weather update. First, the highs and lows for the week. You're going to see temperatures get into high 70s, almost 80. Make sure you're wearing plenty of sunscreen if you visit Vintage Days. And if you have allergies like me, don't forget that spring has sprung and those sunglasses are good for more than just blocking out the sun. Invest in some allergy medication and don't forget that that pesky pollen needs to be kept out of your eyes. Marco Rose has caught up with some students about their memories from March 2020. I was actually in high school. Well, I was actually going to Fresno City College still. I was completing my associate's degree at Ridley College. Um, we were about to go to UCLA for our first collegiate tournament. I have my bachelor's degree. So the honestly, the only thought that I had was I felt um, that it was unfortunate for these other students. And they told us that classes were canceled and that we weren't allowed to come back to campus. And I <laughs> went to class. I thought I was going to be late. I walked in and no one was there. We were getting ready to graduate senior year, so uh, we were all pretty like, like happy that they canceled school. But then like we weren't sure like, oh, what's going to happen, you know, like with, uh, with like school, college. The thing called COVID's hitting UCLA. They're shutting down. Tournaments canceled. I had thought that I missed the class. I did not. Apparently, the professor put an announcement on campus saying, due to the pandemic, the recent shutting down, we're going to cancel class, it's going to be on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Which was really scary because you don't think that something like that is going to happen or everybody is on lockdown and nobody's allowed to be around people. Um, and I just feel like they were kind of robbed of like that kind of experience. You know, I've already had it, I'm old, you know, I've been there, done that, but I think for them, that's, that's where my heart was. For me, as an individual, COVID itself was not a big deal, but the emotional impact, the isolation was a massive one. Which definitely tests all of our mental health, our patients and everything. Um, so yeah, that was insane to think about. I mean, years from now, we're gonna be like, we lived through this and that's gonna be exciting to tell Anyone that's like, did you live through that? I'm like, yep, sure did. And I didn't get any COVID. <laughs>The Fresno State women's rugby team is as thick as thieves and as tough as nails. But beyond the field is a sisterhood unlike any other. I really love them and I've even made one of my best friends through uh, rugby that only in these last five months we do everything together. They've struggled juggling school, their social lives, practice, games, and even bouts of homelessness during a global pandemic. When COVID hit and I actually um, I actually did a little couch surfing because I was homeless with some of the rugby players that kind of put me up and they took me in because I had never, you know, I wasn't from Fresno. Despite the hardships, you'd struggle to find a single frown among these players. The Fresno State women's rugby team is one of the most inviting clubs. All the returners and like veterans were really nice and super opening and they just welcomed me like if I was just been there the whole time with them. And it's a good thing that making friends is so easy for the girls because the practices sure are not. The challenging practices are organized by the team's volunteer coaches who give up their time and energy 
all for the love of the game. Yeah, yeah, we're volunteering out here four days a week pretty much, um, and then most of our times is going to coaching sessions, uh, writing session plans. This is, uh, this is like, um, my boyfriend is the other coach and this is our love language, right? Like, we love this sport. We met each other from this sport. This, it, these people that you play with, they stay with you for life. Through harsh conditions, canceled games, and everyday obstacles, the team will continue working hard and invites anyone onto the field who has the guts to join. We, we want to teach anybody. Anyone that wants to play, I am happy to teach you about it. Even if you just want to come watch, even if you want to come support, like if you want to sit here at practice and just watch us, or you want to join the fitness sessions. For Fresno State Focus, Marco Rosas. Once every semester, the Career Development Center treats students to professional haircuts and secondhand clothing for absolutely free. We partner with Paul Mitchell and they come and they give our students free haircuts. We also get a lot of donations for casual clothing, so we allow students to come and grab a bag full of items and take as much as they'd like. This semesterly event is just one example of the partnership between Fresno State and Paul Mitchell. Fresno State students can visit the Paul Mitchell School Fresno just a few stops away for regular haircuts. We did hand out probably about 40 or 50 VIP cards for them to come in for a free haircut. But we also, on Wednesdays and Fridays, offer a $5 haircuts for our shorter haircuts. Because there's so many students that are literally five stoplights away you know, at, the call at Fresno State. It's a win-win for students of both schools. The Fresno State students get free or discounted haircuts, and Paul Mitchell students get more experience cutting hair and marketing themselves while supervised by their advisors. It's something like this is great for them to take advantage of because with like the, the pandemic and everything, like it plays a big part in just how busy they are in the school. So, you know, getting this amount of exposure helps people to come in and, and you know, just add to their growth and their learning experience. No matter what degree or certification they're getting, it's the relationships built along the way that will mutually benefit and stick with these students for life. From the Satellite Student Union at Fresno State, Marco Rosas, Fresno State Focus. Here at Fresno State is where most students have their first opportunity to encounter theater. But what about after they graduate? A quick drive down the 99 from Fresno is all it takes to find the Selma Arts Center, where students not only have the opportunity to watch plays, they can also pitch their own scripts. If you have a show idea, if you want to direct it, or if you just want to see it on stage and you want someone else to direct it, come pitch it to us. We want to hear what you want to see because if you're willing to put in the work to create a proposal and pitch it to us, I'm sure, we're sure, that there are other people in the community that want to see it as much as you do. Claudio Lasso is another member of the Selma Arts Council. To him, theater is an experience unlike any other. There is nothing more personal than being in, a, in, in this space that is created by this group of people who are trying to tell you a very specific story. And not only are you watching, but you're a participant in the storytelling. While there's still plenty of plays to be seen here on campus, the Selma Art Center invites anyone and everyone to see what they bring to the stage. For Fresno State Focus, I'm Marco Rosas.